Hey everyone, Trail Trev. Uh, just doing a quick gear review today. I'm up at the uh, beautiful uh, Mount Tambourine in uh, sunny Queensland. Uh, fantastic backdrop behind me. I do apologise, it is a little bit uh, windy today. Uh, you might hear a wind socks chiming away or squeaking in the background. Anyway, we'll work through that. So today what I'm doing on Trail Trev TV is it's a series, the start of the series of gear reviews. So uh, it's um, gear that I use and today it's a it's a face-off between uh, the uh, the Petzl Tekina uh, head torch versus the Black Diamond uh, Storm Torch. Okay, both of these torches are a couple of years old and uh, come in at different price uh, values. But anyway, let's let's crack on. Okay, first up is the the Petzl Tekina. Uh, it's around about thirty to thirty-five dollars these days on the on the internet, depending on where you shop around. Uh, it's a simple. Uh, weather resistant torch headlamp that has uh, three power settings uh, and runs on three uh, AAA batteries. So depending on what sort of um, running that you're doing or uh, camping etc um, this is quite quite good for entry level um, ultra trail uh, events where you have to have a mandatory torch. Alright so it's rated around about uh, let me see my notes 150 lumens and uh, supposedly 55 meters distance but we will come back um, later in this um, review and we'll actually be uh, doing some, some night reviews and we'll see what sort of uh, beam and performance we get out of the, the Petzl Tekina. Okay, second contender today is the uh, the Black Diamond Storm. Uh, this is uh, around about the uh, 90 to 100 dollar mark in the the current 2018-2019 uh, version. Um, this one runs on uh, three AAA batteries. Uh, the latest generation runs on four AAA batteries and uh, has quite um, a good performance in terms of uh, longevity. So uh, the good thing about uh, this torch is that it gives you uh, multiple light settings. It has uh, the, the main uh, quad beam in the centre uh, with a dim uh, with a memory. Uh, dimming function all right so once you dim it down to normal settings it when, when you turn the torch back on it will um, remember that setting and you'll be good to go from there it also has uh, two LED proximity lights as well so for low power um, it's perfect for around the campsite and it also has a two red LED proximity uh, LED lights as well so that uh, if you need to preserve your night vision um, you can use it for that application as well. The torch also has a, a lock function which is good so that if it's in your pack you won't accidentally turn it on. Um, that's a, sorry, a downside with the Tekina, um, the, the Petzl version is that it's easy to turn on and off. So anyway, that's the two torches. They're both very similar in weight and uh, weather performance. Uh, they run on the same AAA batteries, just as a bit of difference in the light. So um, that's all I'm going to cover for now for the day setting. We'll come back um, very soon in this video and we'll actually do a night review so keep watching Bye. hey welcome back it's uh, trail Trev just getting set up for our head head torch uh, field review so it's just on late afternoon um, I'm out in open field um, behind me about there I have a, a sign on a fence line it's approximately 50 meters and then as we come around and down there where the cars are going past there's another uh, sign on the fence line being a stop sign, so uh, that'll be our 100 metre mark uh, there for our head torch test. Uh, second so part of our uh, head torch review is we're doing a, um, the forest trail section, so it's a little bit more enclosed here behind me. Uh, I've got a fire, fire trail approximately uh, 50 metres up to the, to the crest of the hill there. Um, the forest has been burned out a bit, however, the torch should give you a indication of how it fares with the light reflecting off the trees and uh, the ground ahead of you. So anyway, stay tuned, we'll come back when it gets dark. I'll see you then. Bye. Heed my warning and make sure you get the right head torch to suit your application. So it's Trail Trev, we're out here, it's really dark and uh, we're just going to do a field test on uh, the lights that I talked about earlier. So stand by, coming up. Okay, here's the uh, Black Diamond Storm. It's on the highest power setting. We'll just dim it down to the low setting. That's low, come back up to the high setting. That's the highest setting we have there. Uh, you can make out the sign at 50 meters and panning round we have the stop sign 
down there at the distance at 100 metres. So probably uh, not as um, a good as beam as the uh, Petzl Tekina, surprisingly. However, it does have other features that make it um, certainly worthwhile. Okay, here we go with the Petzl Tekina. Uh, I'll do this very quickly. So we have, uh, it's currently in off, obviously, low, medium, and high. All right, and you can see it's not a bad beam out to uh, 50 metres. And as we come around, uh, 100 meters out there so um, probably it may have a, a, a beam pattern a little bit better than the actual uh, black diamond storm that uh, that we are also testing this is the Petzl Tekina uh, as you can see it has quite good visibility um, to your immediate surround is like a narrow sort of uh, beam and you can get some spot um, up in the distance at around about 25 meters and there we have the canopy and there's the trail here we have the a black diamond storm on uh, max power quite a, a wide it's a wider beam than a tequina uh, petzl and So there you have it, uh, a few interesting comparisons uh, between the different uh, head torches, um, noting that the Black Diamond Storm has uh, a newer version out with four uh, AAA batteries, so uh, more than likely um, it'll probably outperform the Tekina. Um, ho different horses for different courses, uh, the Storm has the um, the, the red proximity and also the smaller LED proximity um, lights compared to to Kina with just the single uh, LED light so um, different budgets um, different applications so anyway I hope that helps you out um, with your selection and uh, until next time that's Trail Trev out here in the dark I'll catch you later bye <laughs>